Now, the theorem says if you have a sequence that's an increasing sequence with an upper bound, then that sequence is convergent and with at least upper bound. It convert, that's where it converges to. It's, the theorem is similar for, di, for decreasing sequences. That is, as long as bounded from below, a decreasing sequence will have a, it will converge to its least lower bound. Now, as an example of the, that theorem, let's uh, do some problems. Problem one, show the limit of uh, this thing exists. You don't have to calculate the limit just to show that the limit does exist. Now, the, the, the problem looks fairly complicated. You have n to the powers n, n factorial, e to the power n, and all that stuff. How will we show that it's, uh, it exists? First, we will show that it is a decreasing sequence. And this is how we will go about it. You have, because it's a sequence, then let's look at the terms. How do I know it's decreasing? Well, I don't. I'm just hoping it is, because if it were decreasing, our problem would be a lot easier. If it isn't decreasing, it's just uh, more painful. It, anyway, so uh, let's say, so just do the problem, say Sn is this thing. Okay, one of the one of the terms in the one of the terms uh, Sn is n e to the power n, of course. And then you figure out what n s n plus one is, which is everything every n get turned into n plus one. Every single n. And don't forget any of it. Okay, n plus one factorial e to the power n plus 1. And remember the factorial is a number that multiplies all the way down to 1. Like 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Anyway, so uh, let, then how do we show this decreasing? Let's look at what this value is. Sn over Sn plus 1. Because if you can show that this value is less than 1, then each value is less than, then this this shows that, um, um, no, the other way. It's actually Sn plus 1 over n over uh, Sn. If this value is less than 1, then you can show that, uh, that everything is decreasing, because the next one is always slightly less compared to the first one. And then, therefore, the sequence is clearly uh, decreasing. So, uh, well, decreasing it means it can be equal to or or less than. So anyway, so we will show this thing to show we are trying to show that show this value to be uh, less than or equal to 1. Okay, that will be sufficient to prove that the sequence is de decreasing. And we'll do so by actually doing the math. So crank this out. So you have Sn plus 1, write that down here, n plus 1 to the power n plus 1. And now we're just going to be doing a lot of uh, power algebra. That's all this is. And then n plus 1 factorial times e to the power n plus 1. Okay, oh, this is Sn plus 1. And then divide by Sn, which means flip the Sn around. So we'll do the this thing on the bottom. Okay, this is Sn. And uh, this will go on top, e to the power n. So, and then you will simplify this thing. Mm, let me see. Okay, one step at a time. So this equals to, well, the e we'll have just we'll write like, like this now the e will just have uh, a e left on the bottom that's all you get okay because the en and en will cancel out now n plus one n factorial and n factorial n plus one factorial will become n plus one that's it Okay, because all the tail end of the factorial will cancel out. Well, so far it's good. Now, what about that? That does not cancel out. So we have to, um, so we'll have to write it like this. So what we have left is n plus 1 
times e, that's 1 over, and then this stuff, we will have to write it over here because there's no canceling it. So then you have n plus 1 divided by n, the whole thing is to the power um, n, okay, with an other n plus 1 over here. So what we did is just take one of the n plus 1 out, that way both terms have the same power. And because we have the same power, then you can write it in there. So then the next step, you can see that the n plus 1 will cancel out because n is bigger than 1. And so you don't have to worry about it being c at 0. So you have 1 over e times this thing right here. You, you take the fraction apart. It becomes 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. All right, so far so good. Now, what is this thing right here? This thing right here is, uh, now given that 1 plus 1 over n to the power n up is, is less than e, okay? This is to the power n. This is less than e, but it approaches e. This is uh, one of those formulas uh, that's taught in the past is that you're supposed to memorize it, seriously. This the limit of this thing approaches e as n approaches infinity, but it's an increasing sequence, so that it's less than e at all times. And is because so because this is less than e, that means this thing is going to be less than less than one. Okay, because this thing is less than e, so you, when you divide e, it will be less than one. That shows that the sequence that we've been working on is a is a um a decreasing sequence. Because it's decreasing then, and it's clearly bounded below by zero because everything's positive, then the limit exists and it is its uh, greatest lower bound. Okay, now let's look at the next problem. The next problem is, is very, you do it similarly. Um, again, and we, we try to show that this to show the limit exists, we try to show that the sequence is a decreasing sequence. Well, how do we know it's a decreasing sequence? Well, we just hope that it is because if it's increasing, it'd be much more painful. But let's see if it is decreasing and you see it again by the same method here is uh, you say SN. So we'll do SN is that thing right there. We'll copy the whole thing down. Is uh, the even numbers go on top? All numbers, numbers go on the bottom. Minus 1. And the whole thing has to be squared. And then as n plus 1, it's just uh, turn every n into n plus 1. So 1 over n plus 1. And this pile of stuff is, uh, goes 2 to 2n two two n times 2n. Uh, 2n plus 2, and then uh, on the bottom is the same way, 1, 3, 2n minus 1, and then goes all the way up to 2n plus 1. All right, and then you just do this thing again. You show that the, to show, we want to show that sn plus 1 divided by s n is less than 1. And it's always true, or at least true, when n is large. Less than or equal to. Equal to is good now. Because then you will show that it's a decreasing sequence, and it's bounded from, to, from below, therefore it must converge. So to show that, we do the, the basic algebra again. So we will copy this whole batch of stuff again. It's very important to write these things out carefully, because that way, that way you can see it care, carefully in your head and not get all confused, especially when there's a lot of terms. Math is easy when you're not confused. But of course, it takes time to write out all this, all this stuff. OK, now Sn being in the numerator, we'll flip it around. So n goes on top, n over 1, and then uh, the Again, squared, don't forget the square. 1, 3, 2n minus 1. 
over 2 times 4 times etc to n and the whole thing has to be squared all right so then so this is uh, this whole thing is sn divided by sn plus 1 divided by sn which is equal to this all right so then we have now you're just doing good old algebra. We'll take the n and n plus 1 out. You cannot cancel them out, so we'll just write them out here. n plus 1. And hope that they'll cancel out later. This thing, you look in here very carefully, okay? It goes all the way to 2n, which cancels out all the stuff up to 2n. So what you have here is um, 2n plus 2 left. The, print, the square still stands though, okay? That's 2n plus 2. And similarly, over here, when you look at it, everything is canceled out from here to here, except the 2n plus 1. And, but the square still stands. So that's what you have cleaned up, cleaned up very nicely, which is nice, because it doesn't always work this way. And then you will further clean it up by looking at this. This is... Um, this end up being doing the math. So this is two times n plus one, and then which is squared. So we have a four out here times n times n plus one because the other n plus one got canceled out. And then the bottom is just uh, two n plus one, which is squared. Now if you multiply this thing out, this equals to four n squared plus 4n. And the bottom equals, if you multiply that out, is 4n squared plus 4n plus 1, which is less than 1. Because the top is less than the bottom, any fraction that's arranged that way is going to be less than 1. Be, uh, or put it another way, this the, the numerator is less than the denominator. So then that proves that the sequence is decreasing. And again, because of that, we have, uh, and it's bound down below because again, the sequence is a positive sequence, so it's bounded by zero, and therefore it's a convergence sequence, and therefore the limit exists. And that concludes the story.